It's time for a little celebrity dish. All right, and uh, 93.9 Diva Unfiltered podcast host Shay Parker. Parker. <laughs> What's up, Shay? Hey, Shay. <laughs> Hi, good morning. So good to see you guys again. This is the first time we're doing this. Yeah, like, visually in person. You, we kind of did the opposite with you. We started out yeah. uh, in person, and now this is the first time doing virtual. Yeah, I don't want to. I want to say she maybe she didn't want to be around us anymore. She, maybe she was like, "This is yeah, yeah. Let's do it at a distance." Yeah, this is a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> never, never. All right, let's get into it here. Uh, former Real Housewives of uh, Potomac star Katie Rose wants to hold a champagne flute one more time. She tweeted yesterday begging. Bravo to put her back on the show. She told followers, quote, I've asked Andy to bring me back, apologize, and I said sorry, all that stuff. Radio silence. Back in 2019, she sent tweets lashing out at Andy for not having her on the season four reunion. She went on to say she's reliable and that if they're still casting to hire her, she would, quote, has, she has, quote, a, long, a lot going on and that a lot of people can relate to what she has going on. Her plea comes two weeks after she revealed she's working, uh, in her words, a minimum, minimum wage job at Bethesda Co-op in Cabin John, Maryland. And uh, we have yet to hear anything from Andy. What do you think, Shay? I mean, Katie girl, Katie girl, I don't know if she's quite ready to be back, you know, as a cast member on Real Housewives of Potomac. I mean, Potomac is doing amazing things right now. They are carrying the Real Housewives franchise on their back. Um, and, you know, before all of this, Real Housewives gave Katie multiple chances from season two to season four, and it just really didn't work out. I would love to see her up there again. I do think she has a really relatable story. It's not all glitz and glam, but I don't know if she's quite ready yet. What do you think? Well, the fact that it's radio silence means it's not going to happen. Oh. I mean, if she, Andy Cohen hadn't said a word, so I'm like, that speaks for itself. Maybe he needs a little time to get back to her. I think it's, it's barely been 24 hours, maybe. Uh, here's what I will say. One thing Katie's known for, uh, Shay, you might agree with this, is her clapbacks were pretty good. I mean, <laughs> she shut down a few people. So it made for good television. That's, that's very true. And I think with the current cast and their clapbacks, it would make for some really, really good TV. Yeah. But I think it would make for some really good TV, but we'll we'll see what what happens. I yeah. think there's a bit of beef between her and Andy. Mm -hmm. So let's see if they get over that. Yeah, you okay. never want to you know beef with the boss. That's yeah. probably really what right. it is. Okay. All right. Let's talk about Wendy Williams. She's out and about once again. Fans hopeful that her, her recent sightings in New York City means that things are looking up for the talk show host. Producer Chris, he's got the details on the latest Wendy Williams spotting. Hey, Wisdom. So fans are hopeful, but I'm not quite convinced. I won't lie to you guys. And I'll let you make that judgment call for yourself because we're going to show you the video we're talking about. Like you said, Wendy Williams seems to be more active in public. The former talk show host was spotted in New York City Tuesday night. She was heading to dinner at a restaurant called Fresco by Scotto. She was with her bodyguard and chatted up the paparazzi on her way into the restaurant. You see her right there. She also shared she is down to 138 pounds and reportedly told the paparazzi, quote, Oh, it's sexy, right? Wendy then made sure to inform the photographers that she and the bodyguard are not dating. Wendy has been keeping a low profile. She battles health issues, but last week she was spotted out during New York Fashion Week, and we told you about that. We showed you that video as well. There was some concern about her health then as well. But I will say, we talked about, you know, she hyped up that podcast for a really long time, then it kind of went radio silence. Now it's that her Instagram account, she posted this video herself. It has been much more active in the last few days mm. after taking like a two or three month break before that. Shay, what do you think? Does, does it look like uh, she's, she's doing better? Is this, you know, calming some concerns essentially? I mean, I am really happy to see, you know, Wendy out. And we know Wendy Williams. She's always going to put on a smile yeah. and kind of give us that Wendy Williams flair. But I have to agree. I'm not really convinced. I mean, I think she needs a bit more time. And I can't remember the last time I was 138 pounds. I'm just really ready to see her back healthy and, you know, doing her thing. I was ready for the podcast.
Yeah, I mean, she'd be she'd be good, but only if she's in, in good health, right? I think if she takes care of her first, uh, then, yeah, I think success will, would follow. But I, I would want her to prioritize herself first. So we'll, we'll see. And hopefully she's, I always say this, hopefully she's got the right people around her, right? Because there could be some people who just want to take advantage, make a couple bucks off of her, and, and I, I would worry about that with her. Now, Shay, do you think that she is uh, okaying these photo ops, or do you think somebody else is calling the press and saying she's going to be here at this location. It's just strange to me that she doesn't seem to be in a, best, in a good place, but we're always seeing her out and about. So do you think these are orchestrated by someone else? I honestly think it's Wendy. If I'm being completely honest, I, I don't know what her mental, you know, space is like right now, but I can always tell when Wendy is posting on socials and it's her versus uh. her team. And I think she has these spurts where, you know, she wants to be seen. She wants to go out and uh. kind of live a normal life. And I, I honestly think it's her. I don't, I don't know if it's someone behind the scenes kind of being shady and pulling the strings. Um, okay. Well, uh, Jonathan Major is maybe Hollywood's newest leading man, starring as Marvel's most powerful villain yet in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and the highly, anticip highly anticipated Creed 3 movie. But the real tea, he says, is he's the plug. Major's uh, stopped by The Late Show with Stephen Colbert on Tuesday to promote his movie, Quantum Mania. But it was when Colbert pointed out that Major's has starred opposite two of people's sexiest men alive, that Major's made the connection. Major's joking that he's the gateway to becoming the sexiest man alive, saying teasingly, work with me. Now, uh, obviously, Major's is, is kidding, but do you think sex appeal can be learned? That's the question. Is it something you can pick up, or does it have to come naturally? I mean, I just got sexy maybe five seconds ago. <laughs> so, you know, I definitely think it can be learned. And I love me a good medium ugly guy, you know, like not too cute, but not <laughs> all the way ugly, but still has that sex appeal. I like ah, it. What did you call it? Like medium ugly, you said? Medium wisdom face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hadn't heard. It's kind of like a steak, like medium rare. Like, do you want medium oh. fine? Do you want fine? Do you want ugly? No, like I want medium ugly. Shay, I've never heard that <laughs> expression before. Me medium Me ugly. That should be a hashtag. Do you think? Do you think you've ever been medium ugly to a girl? I don't know. I think I've been straight ugly. <laughs> Not medium. There was no medium about it. I thought you were going to go the other way. No, no, no. I can I appreciate no... the transparency. There was no medium about it. I was just straight <laughs> ugly. Yeah. Yeah. In my, in my early wow. days. And they still dated you? Because some people no, they, like no, their they steaks rare. No, they didn't date me either. They didn't date me then. No. Oh. Oh. No. Back then, oh. they didn't want me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sounds, <laughs> like little... Sounds like a song. Uh, um, okay. Do you think sex appeal can be... Did you learn about this? No, no, no. I went through... I got some uh, filters, uh, some, some life-changing filters on me. Some uh, real filters. okay. Yeah. I don't know if... I don't know if sex... I, I guess you could... I... Appreciate... Yes. I, no, I was just saying, I guess you could appreciate different things. I don't know. Learn... I guess so. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. guess you can be medium I, ugly and have sex okay. appeal. Yeah. Because, I mean, when did Rihanna really get her full sex appeal? Think about that. I mean, she didn't just hop out the gate. Pulling hmm. the sex appeal. But you That's could true. also argue that she's always been sexy. She just, like, she really started showing it, embracing it, using, you know what I mean? Like, wielding her sexy. Yeah. When you she know, but it was more, always when there. When she got a bunch of zeros behind her no, bank account, she, she got real she's sexy. She's been then. fine for it. Well, no, no, no. I didn't say she wasn't fine, but I, I just said the mean. more zeros you add, right. the sexier you get. <laughs> so you can buy sex That's appeal. True. Yeah, you can, there you go. You can buy. You can go from <laughs> medium ugly. <laughs> <laughs> to super sexy with some zeros in your bank gotcha. account. Shay, you better trademark that girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you. Thank you. <laughs>